guys and welcome to the episode number 2 of AC Milan soccer manager career mode okay episode number 1 was very good indeed we started off with a win in the serie a and we also signed luis alberto so uh, the first episode was very decent so today will be we will be getting through the transfer window and we also have some interesting matchups we are going to play atlanta and uh, napoli also both good teams both champions league teams so yeah without any delay let's get started okay so guys i've thought of it a lot and with the kind of budget we have usman iwar is definitely one guy whom i whom i wanted to sign to be honest but guys i have ended up going for this guy okay he is an absolute beast okay his name is tonali okay he 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 his name is sandro tonali and i can't express people say he's the next andrea pirlo that's 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 appreciation of the highest level so we'll be going in for tonali okay i'll go in with a 30 mil offer to begin with tonali he is a player okay he's a very good player tonali and brasica Brasis, Brasis, Brasicia. I don't know. I'm bad with pronouncing them. They want thirty-four. We'll give them thirty-two, maybe. Let's settle for thirty-two. And one more thing I wanted to do is this guy Lackist. Okay, I'm not a big fan of him, so I think he needs to go. Okay, he needs to go. He's gonna go Lackist. I don't know how to pronounce it. and daniel maldini is injured i think he's a relative of maldini or son of maldini i'm not sure so tonali bid again rejected they this is not good okay okay we'll set up for 34 we'll settle for 34 mil for sandro tonali and he should soon be ours hopefully we do well we have some in and another thing i wanted to tell you guys is means my first ever video on youtube and means getting around 130 140 views is so big for me and guys thank you to you all means it's been it's it, it was a dream come true for me to come on youtube and with you all guys support it's been it's been excellent for me and yes guys hopefully you keep the support coming in i would appreciate if you would put a like on the video also and uh, yeah also subscribe if you enjoy the video you will get the latest content whatever i make and yes this august i am going to make a lot of content i would also make a champions league review video okay and here it is we got an offer for lackist okay let me see how, how long is this contract is 2023 is 3 years remaining on his contract okay we'll accept this offer and sandro tonali has signed for ac milan what a signing for us what a signing sandro tonali lackist has signed so we get the money back we have 25 million more to spend it's good indeed i'm very happy with our spending so far tonali then we got in our boy I think we got in Luis Alberto, nice one. So media has a question. Previous games between AC Milan and Atlanta have produced some interesting results. How do you see this one? I would say we need to be on the top of our ga- top of our game, and I think it's gonna be a very good game. This Atlanta team in real life are in Champions League in the semi-final. They just got knocked out. So here comes my boy. Tonali he'll come in for that Italian guy I mean, Italian or Algerian he is I'm not sure so okay Zlatan starts Rebic starts okay this is going to be my team I want to start our L- Leo but he is called but we'll keep this team Sandro Tonali gets number 15 so Atlanta I think this was probably the same team that started against PSG it was heartbreaking 
do let's get started and one more thing guys i wanted to put it out there that and paul quecha has scored scored what a wonderful goal by paul quecha just a second guys uh, one more thing i wanted to one more thing i wanted to put it out there is that means i would n- not only be making such soccer manager videos i play plus pes 2020 2020 i'll be making road to glory campaign matches of pes 2020 then i'll also be reviewing champions league i support barcelona in the champions league in normal thing i support arsenal so yeah that was a bit of information about me so here i think this is oh zlatan isn't performing i'll bring in this leo guy i will not really see how he performs like liao leo liao how do you pronounce it i don't know atlanta are a very good team to be honest means they are in the champions league that speaks a lot about them come on we could be heading towards a second win come on guys and we've beaten atlanta away from home that's a amazing result cuz considering that we just got through against uh, our previous opponents this was a very good result and yes guys two games two wins excellent okay but now we have a bigger task ahead cuz we're going to play napoli in the serie a well our first few fixtures have been like mm, bit well tricky i would say and tonal how is that, that everybody i sign gets injured how is how is that even a thing i'm not sure but now guys now i want to go for a young center forward to be honest young fresh center forward cuz cuz look we don't have much money to be honest he should be in our wesley well they are not so impressive now here whom do i sign here they are not at all impressive joshua king is one i really think i we can sign joshua king is really a player i think we can we w- will be able to sign we'll see how much burn mata asking for joshua king but he is a good player okay he's a good player joshua king and he would be a great addition to us cuz in that center forward role you only have one guy and king bid rejected they want exactly what money we have they want exactly what we have no 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 i can't do that we'll see guys for now let's proceed i am not sure whom we need to sign a defensive reinforcement can be an option because if you look at us means we don't have good defenders okay we need to sign a defender i think we need to sign a defender may he be a backup to kahir because roman jali is rock solid okay roman jali is rock solid now jerome boateng eric bai there's some good options here there are some very good options conor cody is one whom i really want to sign conor cody he's very good to be honest then i think these are the options and i think they are decent enough i really think these options are decent enough eric bai could be another option i want to sign that's let me go to the short list i feel like eric bai Conor Cody, you know what? I'll go for Conor Cody. Conor Cody, how much money do you want, lad? I'm gonna put in a twenty-three point five mil offer for Conor Cody. Cause we need a centre back. Cause Kahir is already, and they want, they want some money. Well, Kahir is on loan also. You know what? We'll sacrifice this young guy. but we can't sacrifice him we'll try to sacrifice him cuz i i'm not in a situation that i will be okay and we're going to play i i don't want to pronounce that team but yeah we are not in a position that we can just go out and buy the market we're not in that position 
we need to sell to buy and yes okay the europa league draws are over um, that draws have come so where have we ended up hopefully a good group okay it's trabzon por ac milan sevilla lugano well that's a decent group i would say sevilla are there they're a tough team but i think that's a winnable group that's a very winnable group i would say yeah i would say that's a winnable group okay now guys it's a this one of the biggest match matches of our season we're gonna play napoli okay napoli are coolly bali less because we came to know that spurs spurs bought coolly bali that's very but that's very awkward i would say so here's the question i had such a big game against your rivals many people think the ruma is going to be the key man would you agree with this i would i would just do that to just get his confidence done well look i want a bit of help from the things okay i want a bit of help from for the money and they haven't replaced kuli bali and castos monolus their other starter is also injured this is our game okay guys this is our game luis alberto still injured tonali has recovered well I wanna play Castello over Kalulu. No, Kalulu will play Castello or Parquet. Parquetcha, even though he scored the winner. And here goes he. Okay, I think this is the team. I might have gone with a bit of risky selection and not picking Parquetcha and picking Castello, but I wanted to go for that selection. I've gone with that. I go with my. head first so let's go guys come on ac milan versus napoli away from home we have got a terrible and sandro tonali we brought him in 34 million and he has proved why we brought him in what a player sandro tonali paul quecha comes in and you know what i'll bring in zlatan i'll bring in zlatan sandro tonali he has proven his worth each each penny of that 34 mil and and there which has scored from the pen and mertens has leveled back and zlatan ibrahimovic and we are outscoring napoli 3-1 away from home well i think the signs are looking very good for us because beating beating both uh, atlanta and napoli who are in the champions league away from home beating one one nil another three one is not a fluke and with this it means that we are second in the serie a only juventus have a better record than us we're going to play that second division team i think so in the uh, coppa de italia now guys do i have the funds to bring one more signing in Look now honestly I have two options. My one option is to just wait, okay? One option is to just wait. And the other option is to just spend the cash. I want a signing, okay? Now whom can I get for this money? I need a backup center back cuz one of my center back gets injured then I have a problem. then i have a big problem then vija is a good option to be honest funes mori is another good option yas bender but he's on you know what tyron mings or rob holding could be a very decent option but they won't give us tyron mings yeah we imagine as he won't be interested blah 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 it's only 10 months remaining on his contract but he's weighing in Rob Holding is a shout, but he's not interested. Then who else? I think Funes Mori is a good option. Funes Mori is a good option. Okay, Argentine plays for Villarreal. We're gonna go for Funes Mori. I'm gonna go with a big offer, twenty million straight away. 
hopefully they respond well and we have a Copa de Italia match against the second division team so I'm gonna change a lot this game uh, he comes in then Sandro Tonali has a break he comes in then Zlatan or Leo play, play Leo plays then Durate no okay I'll play Durate that might be this might be well Duarte's last game of the season then I'll play Paul Quetta instead of him so I've shifted a team a lot I've shifted my team a lot because they are I think so in the Serie B so we should have a easy game okay what I like with AC Milan is that means everybody who's on the bench also is very near to the first team like in some teams you have like the starting 11 or 12 or 13 are very higher rated and the others are like very low rated and we have to play those same players but here it's not the case okay here it's not the case they look like means everybody is so close to the first team like even if we rotate it's not such a big problem as such I am a bit worried with Saleh Sale Nathana well, if we end up losing to a Serie B team, it will be a terrible August, I would say. Well, I don't want to play extra time. Okay, we have to play extra time now. So, I'll not make my last sub just yet. I'll not make my last sub. And Bonaventura. What a player. He scored in one of the friendlies, I remember, Bonaventura. Now he has popped up with a goal again. He's a good player, Bonaventura. Well, if he performs well, he could have a future at this club. And we have beaten them 120 minutes. That's a bit frustrating for the Staminas. But, yeah. Donnarumma had no... Uh, Donnarumma had no saves to make. And he gets the man of the match. Oh, that's... That's awful. That's awful. So, Copa de Italia easy game and hopefully we are able to sign fourth round we play Juventus it had to happen just had to happen oh my goodness we are nearing deadline day and the uh, and Funz Mori is ready and he will be joining the club he'll give him a five-year contract uh, he won't be the number one player okay I don't know I might end up preferring I might end up preferring him to Kahir, who knows. And I think we have made the deal which we have. Funes Mori is our last signing of the transfer window. Here are our three signings. Reasonably good, all of them. We are yet to see a lot out of Luis Alberto because he's injured. He's out for more seven days. He had a knee fracture. But once he is in, I think our team is going to be excellent. And you can just lose. And this is our chance, guys. This is our chance to go at the top of the Serie A. Because Juventus have lost, okay? Juventus have lost. And we're going to play Florentina at home. I think Florentina is the team for which Ribery plays. And Sandro Tonali, we brought him in, I think, at 15th August. And in 15 days, he has won the player of the player of the what do you say club player of the month i prefer here goes kalulu here goes sandra tadali the club player of the month here goes conti slatan you can't make it sorry oh fun swins mori oh my goodness i forgot to bring in finish mori but it's okay Now we're gonna play for Florentina. I think Ribri plays for Flore for Florentina. And Cutron has scored. And we are 1 0 behind. That's a bit frustrating, you know. We have a chance to go at the top of the Serie A. And we can't let it go like this. Target man. Okay. And. Uh, Cast hello in for Paul Quetta and let's go all over attacking because I don't want to let go a chance of going at the top of the Serie and 2 0. And Zlatan Ibrahimovic has got one more back, 
got one back sorry come on Zlatan come on AC Milan we can steal a point can we no we can't and we have succumbed to our first defeat of the season 3-1 to Florentina not too impressed by the performance if I'm honest not too impressed but ah, yeah it was a decent match and board is not happy they shouldn't be so guys today's episode will be i think we'll do Caligiri and tozombo and we'll see about parma i'll do these two and now i think there's a time it's time for some serious changes okay fion is mori now do i give him his first start we have been very good away from home and you went to beat Roma and we are currently fifth, but if we win, we can go as up as second. So let's go. Funes Mori and Luis Alberto is back from injury. That's probably what we needed to be honest. Luis Alberto is in. This means someone has to drop out, and it's gonna be Kahir. This might be a big risk, but it's gonna be Kahir. Okay, now for this game, what I will do now, Rampage goes up forward and Luis Alberto comes in. Hopefully, this works. Funes Mori gets number six. First game of Funes Mori and Roman Jali together have started anti Rampage at center forward. And Luis Alberto's first ever official game for AC Milan. Till now, he has only played in two friendlies, if I'm not wrong. Or one friendly only, I'm not sure. And anti Rabbit, center forward, has scored for us. He has be he's a utility. He can play cam, he can play center forward. He's a big utility to us. And Parqueja isn't performing. Well, I'll keep this team, okay? Come on, guys. Come on. We can win. Luis Alberto is doing well on his Serie A debut. Or his AC Milan debut, any which way you want to call it. Uh, what I have noticed is we have been excellent away from home because we bet Atlanta, we bet Napoli away from home and we lost to Florentina at home. That sucks. But AC Milan, clean sheet, win away from home against Caligiri, 1-0. I would say a low score line, but okay, I, I care about the win. So guys, we'll be ending this episode with the last match of the I means last match of the episode is gonna be against Tra Trabzon Paul. I have I haven't heard it before. So against them in the Europa League group stage first match. Well, I think our aim should be just means just keeping pace in the Serie A means oh Ante Rebic is injured for the match. Hopefully, it's not a big injury. He'll take two weeks. Um, okay, honestly, we have got some replacements. Zlatan drops in, and then Kahir drops in. Zlatan Ibrahimovic, target man. Then Castello comes in. Well, the Staminas are, are having a bit of a shot, to be honest. Because we, we are playing a lot of football, okay? We're playing a lot of football. So, yes, this is my team. So without any delay, um, let's get started. Come on, come on, boys. We have oh okay. I think so. This is the team that has Daniel Sturridge. I'm not sure. Is that Daniel Sturridge? I think it is Daniel Sturridge. Well, let it be. Daniel Sturridge is in this team. But I think he's past his best. Obviously, everybody knows he's past his best. And Daniel Sturridge. He's punished me for saying that. He has literally punished me for saying that. And now we are struggling. Okay. Oh my goodness. I, would, I was 110% sure we are going to win this. And it looks like we are struggling bad. We are struggling bad. Conti come in. Attacking. Attacking. Uh, wing back. Come on. And oh my goodness. This episode. Well. Home. Luis Alberto, his first official goal for AC Milan. 
Can we get the draw? I'll be I'll be very happy with a draw. And we lose to Trazombola. Oh my goodness. Well, I told you the first few days we can't take it granted. The first few days we can have good days, but these are very bad days. So let it be guys. So today's episode will end here. It was a nice episode to be honest. We started off, we won against Atlanta, Napoli, then in the Coppa Italia, lost to Florentina, came back against Calgary and lost to Trabzone Poor. I, I can't say that. Until now, we have played 7 matches, 1-5, lost 2. So yes guys, 2nd in the Serie A. Okay, I think today's episode, this much is good enough so hopefully if you enjoyed enjoyed the episode guys please drop a like and also drop a sub so that you don't miss any of my latest content and yes comment what you feel about my new signings what you think our season objectives should be where do you think we can finish so bye for now see you in episode 3